Welcome back to our coverage here as we stand you by for this big clash in the Manning Cup competition. It's a battle of former champions here at the home of Jamaica College. JC, as they are affectionately called, the Dark Blues will be entertaining the Eagles out of Excelsior High. Warm conditions, greeting the players who make their way out to the middle hoping to put on a, a show here for those watching on the Home of Champions as well as on CVM Television. Thank you so much for joining our coverage. My name is Donald Oliver. With me is Leger Williams. You're going to hear his thoughts in just a little while. But as we take a look at some of the, the stars of these two teams, they really hope to make an impression on a game that's uh, going to be beamed all around the world. Thanks so much again for joining our coverage. We now pause for the playing of the national anthem. So the teams meet each other as well as the officials for this afternoon. Kelsa Anderson is a man in the middle. He will be assisted by Andre Smith and Jermaine Page. But Mara Francis is the fourth official. The teams are lining up to take their photos. There is Jamaica College, many time champions. Let's take a look at their starting lineup. Nathaniel Aiken between the sticks. Donald Stewart. Yep, we'll tell you a little bit more about him a little bit later on. Part of the back line, Javon Mills, Dylan John, Jamadi Bennett, Giovanni Taylor, Jamoy Dennis, Jabari Howell, Nashore De Gibbs, Dante Logan, and Johnny Thompson. That's the starting lineup for Jamaica College. Yeah, so much quality in that Jamaica College starting lineup and bench as well. But if any team is going to give them a significant run for their money in this group, it's Excelsior High. Who has Jamari Gordon between the sticks, Antoine Thomas, Aldino Nugent, Shadiko Wizard and Damali Williams, Terence Williams, Kimali Scott, Kivan Salmon, uh, Horace Prince, Shamari Chambers and Roxroy Kane complete the starting lineup for Excelsior High. Dylan John now wears the captain's armband for Jamaica College. And Shadika Wizard is the leader of this Excelsior High team. Yeah, Shadika Wizard, an impressive player, plays his club while at Arnett Gines and 
represented them well even deep into the Jamaica Premier League playoffs last season he'll have to wait a bit to make his bow this season but he'll be looking to lead this Excelsior High unit to great things starting with this game against a very fancied Jamaica College team We're on the way here at the Ashenheim Stadium, Excelsior, with the kickoff here. And immediately they try to go upfield. Looking to get an early chance here. And uh, it's a corner kick in the opening seconds here for Excelsior High. They're hoping to make sure. They were hoping to make hay while the sun was shining, but the sun has left us for the time being, and now the corner kick is here. There's delivery. It's not a bad one. And here's an opportunity. The header was a tame effort from Antoine Thomas. Excels is still trying to win it. Kimali Scott was trying to make his way forward. Couldn't. That's a lovely cross ball. And JC on the charge with their first opportunity. He goes down a little bit too easily in my book. The referee waving play on. Yeah, Gio Taylor already looking to show some of his quality there. John. Jamari Bellet. His third Manning Cup season. He was absent for the majority of last season, wasn't he? Yeah, he was hampered by a knee injury. So even when he was playing, still looked, I don't want to say under the weather, but certainly looked injured. Thompson. Javon Mills actually filling in at centre back in this game. Played a lot of his football at, in the midfield last season. Another one of those players returning for Jamaica College as Excelsior looked to apply some pressure. Yep. To the byline. Good strength being utilised here. Trying to put it back. That's a brilliant block. And the follow up effort again is charged down. Excelsior looking to dictate the, play, the, the pace here in the opening few minutes yeah, they're looking for a really quick start can't afford for jamaica college to really start dictating things early here and play themselves into the game dante logan stepping into midfield a bit dylan john looking for jamoy dennis yeah but it was a, a good header back Jamoy Dennis, one of the goal scorers for Davian Ferguson's team when they beat Excelsior High in the Walker Cup semi-final last season en route to lifting their fourth Walker Cup title. Kane across to Thomas. Again, the ball of field, Excelsior on the charge. Can he let fly off the bar? What a hit that was. That looked to have come from Wizard. Or maybe it was from France, actually. No, it, it did come from Wizard. And it goes the other way now for JC. And that attempt was off the mark. But Wizard imposing himself in this game from early 
with an effort that struck the woodwork. Excelsior with an opportunity here, but the keeper is off his line. Too far in front of Kimali Scott on that occasion. Jamaica College played themselves out of the press on that occasion. Gibbs forward for Dylan John. Yep, here is John. And Gibbs continuing his run. Needs a good ball. It's not a bad one. Spilt by the keeper. Manages to hold on at the second attempt. Jamaica College with so much potency in their forward line. Mashardo Gibbs represented Jamaica at the under 20 level in the CONCACAF tournament this past summer. Opportunity here. Keeper is off his line. Manages to get a foot in the way and then held on to the Nigeria Vani Taylor who goes down injured. Not a good sign early on for Jamaica College. Their leading goal scorer over two games, Giovanni Taylor. Already six goals to his name in the Manning Cup. It was poked through from Dejani Thompson. Not quite sure what could have went wrong, but has taken off his left boot immediately after hitting the turf. He appears to be all right. But he's still getting some treatment as we take a look at Coach Broderick. Has been a bright start from both teams, especially Excelsior, who has already rattled the crossbar. said before the game that they would be the team to give Jamaica College the, or give Jamaica College a run for their money in this group. Zone F. Williams recovering, sending a lovely ball inside that had to be headed away. Here is again Williams. <laughs> before he could get a pass going, he was robbed. And Bennett controlling things in the middle of the park and then the ball over the top. Gibbs giving chase. The former Kingston College man wins it, finds Dylan John. Jamali Bennett slowing things down. Bennett collects, lovely touch forward. Howell pokes it inside. Ball sent out wide, the flag stays down, and the ball goes into touch. Yeah, Jamoy Dennis couldn't get onto that one. Excelsior, a fan of these short goal kicks, trying to beat the pressure of Jamaica College. can't remember seeing Jamaica College being that much of a pressing team, to be honest. To be fair, they do like to hold the possession at any rate. Not afraid to, to build from the back themselves. As they're doing here. Thompson robbed of the ball, but uh, recovered.
JC again on another attack. Gibbs with the collection. That's a lovely ball inside, but it's headed away by Antoine Thomas. Trying to apply the pressure there, Dante Logan. Excels are playing with a lot of confidence. Bennett has lost it. John collects and has lost it himself in the battle of the sevens. Williams came out and caught, tried to get the return ball, the clearance by Donald Stewart. Reminiscent of his father, who is a part of the coaching staff here. Opportunity for Excelsior inside the area. The keeper was behind it. Salmon with the effort just now. Again, Excelsior finding themselves in behind Jamaica College. And again, troubling Nathaniel Aiken. Jamaica College have to be weary of this Excelsior unit. Too much on that ball out of midfield. Tamari Gordon with little to, to do so far in this game. Slowing down the game. Almost trying to take the sting out of the home advantage uh, Jamaica College has in the opening few minutes here. Or in this game, I should say. We're taking the sting out of it so far in the opening few minutes. Yeah, right on the ankle of Giovanni Taylor. Free kick awarded to JC. He wasn't ready on that occasion, Jamoy Dennis. It must be said that in these opening 13 minutes, Excelsior have certainly have the have had the better of proceedings. Jamaica College taking their time to grow into this one, but they still have had a couple of opportunities. Well, here's JC on the ball. Dylan John, it's wide of the mark. That didn't miss by much. His eyes lit up there, and he let fly from yards out. Did Dylan John looking for his third this season? Yeah, found himself in so much space, too much space from an Excelsior perspective. 15 goals Dylan John got last season and he's certainly capable from range even with his weaker left foot newly minted jamaica college captain as excelsior come forward again here here they are balls rifled in on the gain of the bar through the hands of nathaniel aiken on that occasion i guess you can say that he did enough to deny the effort on target and it was Wizard again providing an overlapping option. Yeah, I think he almost pushed it onto the bar in the end. But certainly close again. And for the second time in this game, in the opening 15 minutes, Excelsior have rattled the crossbar of Jamaica College. 
and they have a corner kick now, Excelsior. The delivery coming inside at the back post kept alive, well, not really. Too much on that delivery from Damali Williams. Excelsior may be growing in confidence here. Well, I think they've been confident from minute one. Ball over the top, but the keeper should get there. And he will shepherd that out. One in play. Keep on Salmon. Starting a very quick team, Excelsior. Always looking to break in behind of their opponents. Thompson. Certainly, certainly pressuring this Jamaica College team as well yep and here they are on it in the attacking third ball sent inside the box trying to control couldn't quite grasp it kimali scott it's a frenetic game so far and excelsior with the majority of the chances Issues there for the back line of Excelsior, but he looks composed. Excelsior again. Williams here he is getting his goalkeeper involved Jamari Gordon Altino Nugent sending the ball upfield JC doing enough not quite Excelsior coming again throwing awarded to Jamaica College after all that Foul and Nashardo Gibbs. Excelsior, they have come with some good support. You can see them there. Do you call that the away stand? Well, they're rocking it all the way from Mountain View Avenue. Full ball that the keeper will gather. He has been the busier of the two custodians, Nathaniel Aiken. Excelsior continues to apply the, uh, the pressure in JC's defensive third. It hasn't been comfortable at all for Jamaica College to play out from the back. They've had to resort to a couple of long passes at times. But 
We have a throw in here. Which Thompson will take. Excelsior, they win it back, but they lost it. Mills trying to run forward and then Jabari Hall was trying to get a foot in there as well. Bennett. Stewart. Bennett. Lovely touch around the corner. This is Dennis now. Dennis has the pace to go to the byline. Lovely ball! Just out of the reach of Giovanni Taylor. JC, they still have it. Gibbs to Dylan John over the top. You can see that he was trying to guide it because the power was on the pass. But he could not keep the shot down. Jamaica College, they have been on the back foot for some of this game, but when they go forward, they do look dangerous. Just out of the reach of Giovanni Taylor. Sharda Gibbs across to Dylan John and slightly over on that attempt. Download the Sports Max app today. You can get it on your Google Play Store, your Apple App Store. What you're watching right now, you can watch on the Sports Max app. It's a schoolboy football action. You can watch the Champions League, the Europa League. Conference League, CPL Cricket, WTA Tennis. Donald, what can't you watch on the Sports Max app? I think that's a much shorter list, so we'll just stick with what's there. <laughs> Excelsior. Williams. Sends the ball out wide. Scott. Ball played back inside, trying to put it back on his left foot. Excelsior, they reshape and come again. Nugent goes really long. John. Composed. Aiken was told to clear, which he did. Didn't go too far out. Williams. Here is Wizard again. Dragging that attempt wide of the mark on this occasion. He's certainly the danger man for this Excelsior team. Shadiko Wizard. Always willing to have a go when he gets into those areas on his favored right foot as we're going to have a hydration break here. It certainly has been breathless action so far in this contest and I'm sure Davian Ferguson would love to have a talk with his troops. Listen to me now. We need to be brave and take this football. We have play Well, you got a snippet of that. And uh, I guess you wouldn't disagree with what was said there about him needing to be brave, about the team needing to be brave. Yeah, most definitely. I think that is the general ethos of most possession style coaches. Taking the ball in certain areas and no matter how much pressure is on you, you're willing and able to do something with it. That has been Excelsior to a T so far in this game. Already hit the crossbar twice. Provided Jamaica College with several worries. You can see the manager, Mr. Forbes, providing the mist for his team, keeping them cool. Personality now. Good. Go, Jay. Go again, man. He demands person personality. From his troops. Excelsior? No, well, they have showed a lot of personality in the first half so far. 
we have hit the woodwork twice. Shadika Wizard has shown the most character in this first half. And I always say, especially if you have Premier League experience, once you come to the schoolboy football level, flex your muscles, show that dominance. Really highlight that you are cut above the rest, and Wizard has done that so far for Excelsior. Dante Logan looking to find Dennis, but that one overcooked. Anxious faces. That's all we're seeing in the stands. Nicely done, Donald Stewart. Bet it under pressure. Oh, JC, they've done really well here up until that point. And Excelsior couldn't capitalize. Hand of apology going up. former head coach at Excelsior, one of the Riley brothers in the stands. Gibbs now on this right hand side trying to beat Antoine Thomas who did enough. JC on it. John lost it inside the box, but there was no one there for JC. And the resulting shot from Bennett goes skywards. Sun is back out in all its glory here. JC looking to impose themselves. But Excelsior will get a throw on this near side. The pace of the game has slowed just a bit. Not surprising with the warm conditions here. Roy Kane looking for the long throw here. Williams couldn't find a teammate. Lovely can't keep his balance though as he tried to move away from the challenge, Jamoy Dennis. Yeah, it was a good first touch to evade his marker who swiftly took him down. Again, a threat in behind as Dylan Jano looked to serve this one up.
There's a service from John. Way too close to Jamari Gordon. That's a lovely ball over the top, but really good defending. So composed from Donald Stewart, finding his goalkeeper. Gibbs. She almost worked in his favor. Free kick coming up for JC. Gibbs has really been in the wars. Donald Stewart is going to serve this one up. Sends this one inside, it's headed away. Not too far away though. JC trying to keep it alive, and they do. The effort from Taylor was blocked. JC coming forward yet again, and uh, wasn't on the same wavelength, Jamoy Dennis with Dylan John. Jamaica College growing in terms of their control a bit since the cooling break. I guess you can also say that it kind of brought the momentum of Excelsior High. Haven't looked the same since. This could be problems here. And the whistle goes. Chance for Excelsior. Marley Williams to whip in a dangerous delivery here. Well, let's see if it is dangerous from Williams. They're number seven. Two man wall in front of him. Five players to aim for inside the box. Here's the delivery. Too much. Interesting ploy from JC to switch their full box. Well, here they are in the attacking third, but didn't quite reach Jamoy Dennis. We often see teams switching their wingers, but full box as a new one. There's Excelsior again, unable to control inside the area. Yeah, well defended by Mills, who has been pretty cool playing there so far today well they have been composed if not playing dangerous at dangerously at the back JC
lovely sweeping pass to the right hand side to Jamoy Dennis cutting inside getting some help too and here's an effort that's over the top Dante Logan stepping up to into the middle of the park and having a pop as well I was hoping to open his account this season here he is once again Logan Oh, they've given up almost. Went against them. Ball almost played through, but the flag has gone up for offside. Opportunity here for JC and Dylan John looking up, finding support, heads to the byline and try to get that one across. It's a corner kick to JC. Not often you find a center back taking a corner kick, but uh, this is the case for JC at this point in time. Donald Stewart is there. There's delivery inside and it's headed back outside. Chance number two. Here it comes again, and this one is put high over by Taylor. Yeah, that one bubbled just as he was about to strike it, Gio Taylor. Probably hit his anchor rather than his instep. Here we can see it again. Just up, just bubbled up. But some ingenuity showed. By Jamaica College on the set piece there. Intrigued by the decision of Excelsior to start going long from their goal kicks, or goal kicks they were seemingly getting a lot of control when they were operating short. Kane with a throw. Excelsior not quite the same potency as they started the half. Ball sent over. Opportunity. This one. Charge down. Taylor again on it. Yeah, I think once he got that ball to his feet, it was only one thing on his mind, Gio Taylor. Loves a strike from range. Certainly went for it on that occasion. Although he had Nasharda Gibbs blazing through the middle. And Thompson blazing to the left of him. Not often a half goes by here at Ashenheim Stadium and Jamaica College is playing and it's nil all. Still five minutes to change that, however, for either team. It is competitive. It has been competitive. Excelsior on quite a few occasions, forcing the errors.
in with the throw. They may be contemplating a long one here. Kane's long throw, not clear properly. The shot didn't have a lot of purpose from Williams, didn't make proper connection there. And that was another big chance, I think, created. Gibbs, utilizing his speed well, gets by his marker. Gibbs, can he finish? It's Gibbs! Saved by Jamari Gordon. He hasn't done a lot in this first half. But when duty calls, he comes up trumps. Yeah, that's a huge chance. And especially for someone of Nasharda Gibbs' quality. He should be making that his fifth goal of the season. It was a really good save as well. Tried to go for the near post. Jamari Gordon sticking out that leg. In the nine Jamaica College. That's a big save from Gordon and Excelsior looking to reply. Keep a well off his line, Gordon. Excelsior trying to capitalize here. The flag stays down. Opportunity. Scott. JC escaping. Scott free there. Really good chance for Excelsior. It was Mills who got caught and it slipped over the ball almost clumsily and Scott once he was free I think he was maybe caught in a couple of minds I think he probably should have went on and take the shot on himself but never looked quite in control of what he was doing and a huge chance burned for Excelsior High Talk to the team, right? Talk to them. Stay, mo stay connected. Stay motivated, right? Hey, look for the, look for them. The, the, the number seventy, right? Invert. Dam dam. Look for the number seventy. Dam dam. Dam. Look for the number seventy. Seventy nine invert, right? I'm gonna overload the space, right? Yeah, the player in question, number 17, Dante Logan, who has come into the middle of the park on a couple of occasions for JC when they are going forward, yeah, flooding from, the midfield area. Yeah, from both right back and left back. It would be very necessary for him to be picked up in these areas, try and negate the overload, but Excelsior would still want to keep their wide players wide to keep the threat of the space in behind that a defender inverting would cause yo, yo. his first half seemingly heading to a goalless draw
two minutes of stoppages to be played here. Excelsior just coming away with the possession. Kane, Roxroy Kane. JC rubbing the ball, and here they are coming forward. Gibbs again, the keeper though, off his line and collecting. Collected a knock as well, did Jamari Gordon. Here's the opportunity again, Gibbs through on goal. But that touch, yeah, a little bit too heavy from his knee. And Gordon saw it as an opportunity to come off his line. And now he's getting some assistance from the bench. From the physio. I was picking up a knock. That moment never comes. Press, but a steel focus, right? Look here. And anyway, I'll take two of my body. Look at the right now, right? Your hand is just in though, just go right now. Simple, right? And we go up. Really has been an intriguing first half between t two top top schools in the history of urban area schoolboy football in Jamaica. Jamaica College, it goes without saying, the most Manning Cups in history 31 titles. Excelsior no slouches themselves with. The fifth most, with seven titles, seven Walker Cups, second most in history. Jamaica College, four Walker Cups, including one that they won last season, beating Excelsior along the way in the semi-final. Jamaica College also with two Champion Cups, 22 Olivia Shields, two Manning Cup and Walker Cup doubles, which turned into trebles with the Olivia Shields. And the only team to win the treble with the Champions Cup since that started in 2014 as well. So much prestige. They're looking to add to that this season, but this Excelsior team already showing that showing them that it will be a difficult road. Kane. Ball given away. Skipped by one challenge. Dennis turning on the afterburners here. Oh, he gave it up. In the way was France. Williams trying to go over the top. Now out wide. Salmon. Still has it, Salmon. Or at least he had it. But that's the end of the first half. No goals in this one. JC being held by Excelsior High. Although Excelsior, they've had a, a couple of big chances there. Their captain, their number six, Shadika Wizard, has hit the bar a couple of occasions. One of those hits en route to the crossbar was uh, stopped by Jamari 
It was stopped by Nathaniel Aiken, I should say, in goal. And JC, they've had a few chances as well, but they have been unable to capitalize. After 45 minutes, nil all between Jamaica College and Excelsior High. Lots of sporting action coming up on the home of champions as the uh, Guyana Amazon Warriors do battle with the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots on Sportsmax, the Caribbean Premier League, Friday, 6 p.m. Jamaica time, 7 in the Eastern Caribbean. And also on Sportsmax on Saturday, St. Lucia Kings will do battle with the Barbados Royals Saturday, 9 in the morning, 10 in the Eastern Caribbean time. The Amazon Warriors against the Falcons, Saturday, 6 p.m., 7 ECT on Sportsmax, as well as on the Sportsmax app. The Jamaica Premier League continues on Sunday afternoon. Malines United, they'll do battle with Veer Phoenix. You don't want to miss that one. Five Jamaica times, six in the Eastern Caribbean. And also at Sabina Park, Cavalier and Portmore United will square off at 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time, 8.30 in the Eastern Caribbean. And on Monday, Chapleton Maroons and Arnett Gardens will do battle. 5 o'clock Jamaica time, 6 in the Eastern Caribbean. And then right after that, we'll have Monday Night Football, Montego Bay United up against Harbour View. And yeah, don't want to miss that one. Back at the Ashenheim Stadium. The sprinklers are still on. And... Uh, it's nil all between Jamaica College and Excelsior High as we are looking ahead to the second half here. And uh, Excelsior really started strong in this game. Had a couple of chances, more than a couple of chances, but a couple of them actually struck the woodwork. Shadika Wizard has been instrumental, especially in the first part of that first half. Has gone a little bit quiet, but still Excelsior giving probably a little bit more than they received from JC in that first half, Leger. Yeah, I'll be inclined to agree with you, actually. I think they started that first half really brightly and since then tapered off a bit, but they certainly have created their fair few number of chances. Jamaica College will be looking to stem that flow while trying to get some control over the game. second half a small litmus test for both schools second half on the way here between Jamaica College and Excelsior High JC in their full blue kit Excelsior in white green and gold Sorry, Kane appears to be all right. Stewart. The 
We've lost possession. Excelsior now. Can they capitalize here? Ball played inside and no issues there by Aiken. Chambers with the delivery high inside the box, but it was too close to the JC custodian. Expecting more inversion from Jamaica College fullbacks as one of their wingers go he, forward here. Here's Dennis. Dennis cutting inside. Dennis shooting and uh, cleared eventually by Excelsior. Jamari Gordon did enough. Decided not to catch it, but just to block it. JC still with the possession. Dylan John was demanding movement and none was forthcoming. Here he is again, the number seven. JC on the charge, but they are being patient. There is the overlapping run. Thompson couldn't quite get the accurate placing on that one. Gives with the throw, trying for a cutback there, Jamaica College. Yeah, didn't work on that occasion, did it? JC trying to win it back. Got a foot in there. Still trying to win it back. Jabari Howell. Excelsior trying to clear their lines but unable to do so. Opportunity for Dylan John forced a little bit wide. Now here is Bennett. His effort was blocked. And Excelsior finally will make the clearance. Coming together there, Gibbs committing the infringement. Here's the ball that wasn't the best on that occasion from Kane. Ball over the top. Taylor did relatively well, but the keeper is in some trouble. And Dylan John with an open goal. Convert for Jamaica College. He gets his third goal of the campaign. And the Dark Blues, they surge ahead. Excelsior all over the shop at the back. At a pivotal moment, Gordon in no man's land. The first touch was awful. But th this finish from John was so composed. Yes, yeah, so cool that finish from Dylan John. And he was begging for composure from his players and the fans. After that goal as well, it was a loose touch from a man who has been so assured in the net for Excelsior. And in the end, it was a gift for Dylan John to score his third of the season. And the 15 goal man from last season is still in pretty good nick, I'd say. Corner kick awarded to Excelsior. They must consider that to be so unfortunate. Conceding like that. But Jamaica College doesn't mind at all. Damali Williams. And now the referee has been called a cross. And he's 
highlighting a situation that's happening over on the far side. A couple of players, a bit of a tussle apparently, but just some words exchanged, nothing more. Corner kick for Excelsior. Williams delivering. It's not a bad looking one, the header. Is well, well wide of the mark. He's thinking that there was a deflection there, hoping for a corner kick. Excelsior. Here's an, a rocket that he couldn't quite keep down. Wizard again. Yeah, we certainly know he's capable from that range, and he does as well. Certainly packed a huge punch to that shot. Logan. That was kept in. Excelsior still with it. Oh, that's lovely. Wizard sends it across. Opportunity here. Can he keep that one on target? An opportunity again. Oh! The equalizer for Excelsior almost immediately. That one was fired in. And Damali Williams with the hit after it was delivered by Wizard. And there was some power in this finish. In fact, it was from Kimali Scott. No less than Excelsior have deserved as well. Broke to them quite fortunately, but he can say the same about the Jamaica College opener. And Excelsior right back in this game immediately. Kimarley Scott with his fifth of the season. JC looking to respond. He holds on for dear life on this occasion. Jamari Gordon. So, as you were, both teams level. Not the most convincing clearance. In position again. Mm -hmm. He likes being out of his area. Jamari Gordon.
Williams is behind this free kick. This one sent in. And uh, JC doing enough for the time being. Headed back in a dangerous area. John manages to get a foot in. Good work. Gibbs along that channel to Taylor. Booted into touch before Taylor could settle. Had to get there as well. Fans certainly more engaged since that equalizer. Gibbs has time, delivers, looking for Taylor. And out comes Gordon. Opportunity here. The flag stays down. Excelsior looking to go ahead here. Excelsior! 2-1! It's the Marley Williams! He fires the Eagles ahead and opens his account this season. They are cock a hoop in the stands. And Excelsior with the advantage now after being behind. They gave up a gift, but it has seemed to inspire them. And in no time, Excelsior, two chances, two goals. And goalkeeper, he has to do better there. He really does has to do, has to do better there. Nathaniel Aiken, straight through his legs. And Jamaica College, they're going to make an immediate change. Jamon Lyle making his introduction for Dennis. Wow. Jamari Gordon getting some getting some attention. There's Lyle. Three goals to his name this season and Jamaica College will be hoping that he can get another. Wow, Excelsior. You have to say they have deserved these goals. Yeah, they have created so many opportunities. The question is, can Jamaica College come back in this one? You two, you have a steer. Hey, 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 Frank. You two, you have a steer. Yes, no, you have a steer. You understand me? Let's help each other come far. No, listen up, listen up. Aiken is still thinking about it. And if JC, they manage to drop points in this game or lose this game, he'll be thinking about it for a long time. If the scores remain the same, then three teams would be tied on six points. Jamaica College Excelsior, and of course, Ascot, who got a 1 0 win over Pembroke Hall, the game directly before this one. Setting up that group there. Yeah, it's extremely intriguing at the top. There's Gio Taylor clearly upset. I think that change for Lyle for Dennis. I think we'll see Dylan John now move over to the left wing. Jamon Lyle taking over that attacking midfield position. Bennett looking to 
direct traffic. No gun inside. Again, the keeper is off his line. No communication at the back there. JC, they have a throw. Good work by Logan. Oh, that's wonderfully done. John, though, was trying to sneak that one forward. Excelsior pressing JC, but they are composed on the ball. Logan. Sends the ball along the right channel. Gibbs is on it. And uh, trying to tuck that one inside Gibbs, but couldn't find a teammate. And now along that left channel comes Excelsior. They are players forward. The keeper again off his line. And Logan did exceptionally well. They are appealing for a penalty. And the referee has pointed for a goal kick. What was he doing there, Aiken? That's a penalty, you know. That has to be a penalty in my book. He's late, nowhere close to the ball either. Mm. That's poor, poor play from Aiken. Build up by the referee. And Mona high in the building watching these games, they'll certainly be loving this loving what they're seeing jamaica college touted as probably the closest contender to dethroning them this season well i'm not sure about loving what they're seeing because jamaica college they they improve as the competition progresses and somehow they are usually in the final four the final two i mean that's what we were saying last season to be fair, yes. Yep. But to be fair, we, we, we say that every season. Last season, it just didn't work out too well for them. Yeah, but if I think if this Mona team were to see this Jamaica College team later in the season, they'll see some chinks in the armor. I think they're seeing the chinks in the armor now. Still very early in the season, though. We can't be writing in finalists right now. We can list the favorites. JC considered to be one of the favorites. Mona, of course, the defending champions, considered to be heavy favorites as well. Right now, the JC fans are pretty quiet. And he's a lucky boy, Nathaniel Aiken. The glasses are off, so... Serious time now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look at the... Look at the goals here. And uh, Jamari Gordon in all sorts of problems. And it was uh, finished off by John. And then the equalizer, good work from Wizard. And first shot was blocked from Williams. And then the second attempt from Scott was converted. And here's the Mali Williams finding the back of the net through the legs of Nathaniel Aiken. And that was 2 1 to Excelsior. Remember to download the Sportsmax app today from the Google Play or the App Store as well. Seems as if that last penalty appeal will be the last bit of action for Aiken as well. As Toyn Lynch is 
ready to replace him. Surprised that he wasn't in goal from the start in this one. To Wayne Lynch. Started for the Jamaica national team, the under 20 team, at the CONCACAF competition over the summer. Has represented Jamaica at the under 15 and under 17 level as well, to Wayne Lynch. So a goalkeeper with national experience and national quality as well. And let's just say Aiken in this game hasn't shown that same quality. Would love to see the replay of what you consider to have been a, a penalty, Leger. Yes, and, and see if they and see if there was any connection with his head because that's that's why they are treating him. It was a it was a stone wall penalty in my book. Yeah, I think. The Excelsior player definitely got there first. Oh, yeah. In my opinion. The goalkeeper was in no man's land. Got, got nowhere close to the ball. So see what happened here. Missed the ball completely. Did he also get a knee to his head as well? Yeah, it seems as if that happened. But mm. Well, that would have been injury to the insult if the referee had awarded the penalty. And you're right. I think he's fortunate not to have given away the penalty i mean obviously unfortunate with the head injury which occurred and he's going to be stretched off lynch going through his paces on the sidelines lynch of course controversially played one game for jamaica college last season before being suspended you can say for the rest of the season due to ineligibility played in their opener versus tivoli high which Jamaica College won. Yeah, Nathaniel Aiken not looking too good, it must be said, in this scenario. Neck brace being applied. Yeah, just every bit of caution being taken here as Aiken is uh, going to be stretched off shortly. Due to the tents being taken. By the medical staff. Excels the players trying to keep warm or loose, really. But I do believe that the sun has left us for the final time, so don't think the players would need to worry about that.
and as Aiken is being taken off, warm applause all around as they hope for a speedy recovery for their custodian who has now been replaced by Tawain Lynch. Maybe just a discussion on, as to the amount of time that will be added on. Bennett mix up in communication there with his defender does well to keep it in play but then he lost it John will collect Dylan John has Taylor in the middle oh wonderful work by John who tried to put it back it's a corner kick to JC yeah, moved over to that left hand side now Dylan John looking to create some havoc Hard on the score sheet in this game, and he takes his corner quickly. Thompson. Thompson floats his one inside, and that's a good take. Really good take by Jamari Gordon. Should like Jamari Gordon as a keeper. Is he a little bit hyperactive? Maybe something that he can work on in uh, making better decisions. But obviously, a keeper that likes to control his area. Made that critical mistake though to give JC the lead, but it's a thing of the past right now. John, oh, that's a lovely bit of collection from Dylan John. John strikes that one, and it was blocked. Donald Stewart, Dylan John. Here's the youngster, Jamon Lyle. JC fans rave about him all the while, Lyle. <laughs> you can feel the energy when he's on the ball, coming from the stands as well. Ball inside the area, looking for Taylor. Put into touch by Excelsior. Throw in to JC. down for Excelsior and he now requires some attention from off the bench <laughs> we're gonna have a long period of stoppage time here and the referee knows it <laughs> basically a third second half <laughs> that wasn't correct in either math or English but okay The drums are rocking in the background. Trying to spot the source. There it is. JC drumming up support. Their team trails. Excelsior will be seeking to manage the game from here on out. There are the schoolers, there are the old boys, and there are those who are here by affiliation. The 
JC boys need all the support they can get. Here is Dylan John. John, no issues there for Jamari Gordon. He's going to be beaten again this afternoon. Well, there's going to certainly be a lot of time to see. I'll be expecting around 25 more minutes of game time, at least. Well, the lights have been turned on here at the Ashenheim Stadium. Lyle. They're taking their time, JC. Excelsior looking to defend the stubbornly here. Ball inside the area looking for Taylor. He was looking for the spectacular. Didn't quite come off. They'll try again. Lyle. Keeping his footing. Barely. Free kick award into Jamaica College. Here's an effort from distance, well over the top. Javon Mills trying to make a name for himself and get his second goal of the campaign. Williams out wide. Here's JC coming forward. Was he clipped there? He was looking for a call. Bennett now. Passing the attacking third didn't quite come off. Lynch Stewart Jamaica College probing away. Here's Logan. Ball floated inside the box. Not the most convincing clearance. Now that's a little bit more convincing. The miss kick and JC back with the possession. Lyle. Oh, that's a beautiful ball, but Taylor was in an offside position apparently as he tried to stretch and get it. The flag went up. Celsius coming forward. Salmon and Kane. Well, that's a, a sliding challenge coming in from Bennett, who says that he got the ball. But I guess the question was how he got it. Yeah, certainly looked two footed that challenge. sent inside the area and no problems there for Tawain Lynch. Good take there and good find from Howell and Lyle picks it up or rather it was Thompson tried to get the ball inside the area takes the throw quickly Picks up John. Comes all the way across to Howell. Gibbs with it. 
Gibbs was trying to thread that one through. Foul coming in from Stewart. They try to move quickly, Excelsior. They are striding forward. And uh, Lynch, very much alert, the aware of the danger. Thompson now. Lyle. Free kick to Jamaica College. Fallen Giovanni Taylor. Jamaica College have several good strikers from range. Especially this range. Wondering who will take this one. They try to take it quickly. Return to source. Opportunity coming up for Jamaica College. And uh, the Excelsior custodian, as we confirm the yellow card shown to Roxroy Kane, the Excelsior custodian needs some attention now. Jamari Gordon. Excelsior. With time management, a critical tool in the latter stages of this game. And this would be a big three points for them as well. Away from home at Jamaica College. Taylor has moved this ball considerably forward. The wall hasn't budged though. And bet some money that he's going to be complaining that the wall is too close when the referee is close. Jashi there, recording artist, former Excelsior high player. So said, so done, Lege Williams. <laughs> yeah, the free kick was initially so far out. I was wondering if a shot could be had, but now it's in pretty good range for Gio Taylor. Well, Taylor is there. Jabari Howell is also there. We know that he can hit them as well. Yeah, Taylor has left it alone for Howell. It's Howell into the wall, deflected, and there's an appeal for a handled ball, and a penalty has been awarded. Chance for the home team to get back level in this one. We've got to see the replay again. Yeah. Yeah, pretty stoic. Nailed on that one. You turn your back to it. Hits you on the elbow. Yeah, no excuse. 
penalty now for Jamaica College. We confirm who got the yellow card, but JC thinking that they can get back in this one. It's a big opportunity. Jamari Gordon looking to get into the mind of Giovanni Taylor. Taylor has left it for Dylan John. Was he the decoy to get all that was said from Gordon? It is going to be John looking for a second goal of the game. Dylan John from the penalty spot. The referee not quite ready. Pressure to get JC level. It's John. Dylan John. Converts. Oh, that was a good kick. A wonderful penalty. He gets his second goal of the game. Nothing Tamari Gordon could have done with that one. And JC back level with Excelsior. It's 2-2. Dylan John with his second of the contest. And despite the gamesmanship from Jamari Gordon, he was unfazed. And I think Jamaica College or Excelsior will have a significant amount of time to get a winner in this one. And Excelsior will be making a change, as a matter of fact. Davian Monroe will be making his introduction. be coming on for Salmon it looks like yep Salmon is off Mon Monroe is on It's going to be interesting to see how many minutes will be added for stoppages here. I would think it's a lot. This one has slipped through. Lovely cut back. Here's the chance. What a save by Jamari Gordon. That was a brilliant stop. From the Excelsior man. Dejani Thompson. Dylan John. Lyle. Jamon Lyle to Thompson. 30 minutes, by the way. 13 minutes of stoppages. Ball over the top. Ooh. I'm not sure he knew exactly where he was. Javon Mills. Yeah, the connection wasn't right. Big chance that. As we take a look at the Sports Max at moment of the game. And uh, it was the go ahead goal for Excelsior. Damali Williams opening his account this season. And uh, yeah, that's the Sportsmax app moment of the game. Courtesy of the Sportsmax app as JC coming forward. Excelsior manages to make the clearance. Gibbs. John. Gibbs inside the area. The flag went up for offside. Not quite sure about that offside call, you know. Seems as if he held his run pretty well. Nasharda Gibbs.
must be said though Dylan John has been putting on a clinic in this second half here he is again you're in it now on their feet they are sensing something here the JC support Taylor Lyle trying to force that one through. There's a shot from distance. And you're wasting the efforts here. Jabari Howell with the attempt from way out on that occasion. play could he Kimari Scott Excelsior now Although they are managing the time, probably in the back of their minds, they are thinking that they can sneak ahead here. He was stripped. Jabari Howell. Terence Williams goes into the referee's book. John, lovely ball to Lyle. Lyle to the byline, still Lyle. Here's John, what a block that was by Antoine Thomas. Good work from Lyle. Yeah, the block from Thomas came back off John. Goal kick awarded. Big chance that for Jamaica College. Still pushing. Excelsior. Yep, here they are. They have numbers forward here. That was such a loose touch, but he was in an offside position. The flag went up almost immediately. Too much space was lost in space. Wasn't sure where he was. Trying to force that one through the middle. Again, Excelsior in the way. Challenge coming in from Bennett. And the collision there. Colleen Montague is here at uh, Jamaica College.
long throw being contemplated here by Excelsior. Hurled inside the area. JC trying to clear. And uh, no issues there for Tawain Lynch. Lynch sends that one forward, but too far in front of John. And that's put into touch. Taylor. Still so much time left in this one. B Bennett looking for runners. Loose pass. Yeah, the professional foul had to be done there, you'd think. Came from Javon Mills. The referee wants it to be retaken from the spot of the infringement. Here's a free kick that's just over the top. Again, there was a lot of power in that from Shadiko Wizard, who has been instrumental in this one. I think there are a few candidates for player of the game, you know, Leger. Yeah, quite a few from either team as well. I think in all honesty, though, I would lean towards Dylan John for his second half performance, especially. We have another four minutes. College taking their time about it. Then Lynch goes long. Picked up by Lyle. John will get there because overcooked just a little. But John, John trying to get it across, corner kick coming up for JC. Yeah, he's been a standout performer. Thompson sends it inside, headed away. Lyle controls, then lost it, and now it goes the other way. The flag goes up for offside. They've been caught in the trap so many times. I think he was saying that he was coming from his own half. Here's Dylan John, cutting inside. Howell sends it out wide. There's the ball inside of the bar. Well, that came out of nowhere. Thompson still with it. Lining up an effort that's wide of the mark, but the whistle did go. I am not sure this was deliberate. I'm quite sure it wasn't. That came in from Gibbs, I think. Yeah. Then Lyle lost his footing before he could pounce on it. Not a lot of time remaining now.
Davion Monroe is down for Excelsior and will require attention. What a game we've witnessed here this afternoon. And the sun is back with us to see out the proceedings. Yeah, and if the score stays the same, I think we're getting the right score as well. Been pretty even this contest, I think. Jamaica College have turned down the pressure over the last 15 minutes or so, but Excelsior have provided a lot of attacking thrust in this one. John along the channel to Lyle. Lyle has slowed down the play, then finds John brilliantly. John, his shot was deflected, and Gordon had to readjust in goal. a lot of time remaining here JC maybe with one final attack they just need that final bit of quality not forthcoming with that play Excelsior goes the other way and they also lack a bit of quality and that is that they share the spoils at the Ashenheim Stadium Jamaica College and Excelsior Dylan John with a couple of goals, but you can see that he's disappointed with the results. They did take the lead before Excelsior scored a couple through Scott and Demali Williams, and then John converting from the penalty spot. Excelsior knew that they were so close to grabbing maximum away points from the many time champions who have been held here at home 2-2 by Excelsior. Yeah, this game was so enthralling from start to finish really. The first half didn't have the goals but the second half definitely provided that and then some four goals in the second period. So much happened in this game and it started from pretty early out. Excelsior, the earlier protagonist. And it was this man, Shadika Wizard, who provided that thrust. Struck the bar early. Ferocious strike. Jamaica College they started to grow into the game and this man started to grow into the game Dylan John a real warning sign in the first half and then again Shadika Wizard hitting the crossbar so so close to bulging the net and then in the second half it was a mistake, actually. Jamari Gordon had a pretty good game. Slipped up. Dylan John coolly slotted home. Up until then, you can say Jamaica College were second best. And their captain, he stepped up. One more time on the finish. Really good finish. He was telling them to calm down. 
maybe his team got a bit too calm. Shadika Wizard down the right hand side, cross in, and it broke extremely kindly to Kimile Scott. Really good finish right in the corner. Really, really good finish. As you can see, it literally stitched up in the corner of the net. And Excelsior, they were right back in it, and then some. Their fans knew it, and shortly after, the and then some turned into quite a literal meaning. Racing through on goal. It was a mistake. It was a mistake by Nathaniel Aiken. But it was a good finish nonetheless. Through the legs. The Marley Williams. Excelsior at that point. 2 1 up. But then this free kick changed it all. They appeal for the handball and they got it. Yeah, that's a stonewall penalty. And Dylan John calmly put that one away. Four goals on the season now for Dylan John. He's flying early on. And that's how the goals would end, but chances were still to come. Huge save this. Jamari Gordon and then one more time for the crossbar at that end wow Sharda Gibbs almost winning it for Jamaica College KFC highlights and for the sports mark statistics I told you it was an entertaining game 24 shots between both teams 10 shots on target Fouls as well, 13 of them in the game. Two yellow cards for Excelsior. Five corners in the game and Excelsior shading possession. But the scoreline in the end, it was dead even. Nothing to separate either team. And what a zone F clash this was. Janae is standing by with today's man of the match, Dylan John. Yes, congratulations, Dylan John. You are now the Sportsmax man of the match for today. Dylan, you told me that you're a bit disappointed that it's a draw, but overall, your performance, you've scored two goals. How are you feeling? Not bad, but not great, you know. Wasn't the best day in the office, but it's time to go back to the training ground and fix what we need to fix. Well, you do have that big C on your left arm. When you conceded the two goals, what was your mindset in order to get the boys back into the game? I told them don't give, us, give up on us because this is our home turf, you know, so we can't lose. And you were... Even if we end with a draw, but we cannot lose here. Yes, you are very vocal on the pitch. Is the responsibility a lot to manage? Yeah, this is Jamaica College, you know. It's a big, big deal. So, okay. yeah. Well, all the best. Enjoy man of the match trophy. Thank you. And now we welcome Coach Ferguson, head coach of Jamaica College. Coach, after a hard two-all draw, what aspects of the game are you most pleased with and where do you feel like your team could have done better? Um, I think I'm proud of the performance in terms of what we put on. I think we're up against a very good Excelsior team today. I think they got the tactic right in the first half. I think we made the adjustments. Um, we reacted well in the second half and I think we should have won the game. Well, you, you sound like you were pleased with the resilience of your boys after conceding the two goals. What did you tell them in order for you know, them to gain a little bit of motivation for the rest of the match? Well, I don't need to motivate them for this game. I think they have the quality. They know what is at stake. Um, as I said, I think Excelsior is a very good team. They gave us a lot and I think we responded well. Thank you, Coach. Good, good. And now we welcome Coach Kian Brodrick, head coach of Excelsior High. Coach, a draw today. I know when you scored the first two goals, you were ecstatic, you were jumping up and down. But after conceding the second goal from Jamaica College, what's the feeling like? Well, a bit disappointed that we couldn't come out here with the three points. But nonetheless, one point away from home is always good. And especially at Jamaica College, one point at Jamaica College is something to cheer about. 
Well, it seems that there's a lot of improvement in the Excelsior camp. A lot of these boys, you probably saw them last year. Now they're returning and they're expressing themselves a lot more. What did you do in the off season to gain the, motiv the, the, the motivation for your boys? Well, um, just to disagree is not. Most of them would have been returning. It, it is a young team. Majority of the team will be back next year. But one of the things that we would have done is to restructure the management team and ensure that the one, we are in one accord as it relates to managing and coaching the team. Now we would have ensured that the team is that more disciplined off the field and, in, and we'll have, we would have ensured that the team is disciplined on the field as well. And so it would have been easy for them to carry out the instructions on the field. Well, you're doing a good job. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Well, as the sun sets here at the Ashenheim Stadium, just to recap what's taken place so far in Zone F. Well, as far as today was concerned, JC and Excelsior ended at two apiece. Ascot with a 1-0 victory over Pembroke Hall. And uh, at the top, just to take a look at what's happening there, Jamaica College with seven points from their three matches. Ascot, they are a point behind Excelsior with four points from their two matches. Lots to look ahead to as far as coverage on the home of champions at Mayor's College against Signal Hill live Saturday 2.30 p.m. 3.30 p.m. in Eastern Caribbean. That's the Trent Tobago SSFL, the secondary schools football league in the Twin Island Republic. Also on Saturday on Sportsmax YouTube. Uh, William Nib against Cedric Titus, 3.30 p.m. Jamaica time, 4.30 in the Eastern Caribbean. Yep, it's been an interesting day of action in the Manning Cup. We see the battle of former champions ending in a two-all draw. Not quite a statement made, but obviously interesting times ahead in the Manning Cup. Yo, High school boy football look this season. People them ready, you know. All right then, he come, man in cup. Only for your shield, you make we link up. We watch the champions cup, Ben Francis. What a cup with team, I win the championship this season. Yo, Issa, what a one day for school, I got finished the league and beat now. Which you that got collect the golden boat and be the favorite for the people. Yo, Issa, busy fans are roll out. Looking at the crowd, but learn as support us from school and community too. People nothing at this time, some are listening to prayer, they were some of what you want TV too. Country and turn your night, be one reason. Isa, school boy football, go to look one, look all. Which team are the best of the best of the best of the fire team? Be your chest. Isa, school boy football, that team could rise and that team could fall. But they never will know until the whistle blows around, come and join the show. Yo, Isa, that, that, that competition are never a fit nice up. People love see when boys are get nice up on the field. I'm going to score from far and them never with peaceful and the youths now. Wow. Yo, Isa, school boy football, no local. The youths are move on to international big league and i still people hard but member which party start is a school boy football run club look one look all which team are the best and i got better than the best of the fire team beat your chest is a school boy football a team could rise and a team could fall but they never will know until the whistle blows so run come enjoy the show is a school boy football run club look one look all which team are the best and i got better than the best of the fire team beat your chest